Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling to know that the voices of these people, these people in this county, are finally going to be heard. For more than a year, a group called Pike Countyans Against Government Waste has been pushing to change Pike County's form of government from magistrate to a commissioner form. And on their second attempt to get enough signatures to put the measure on the ballot, they succeeded. And the group's chairman says he believes the people of Pike County will vote for change. The current system is apparently, and in my, like I said, in my opinion, it's, it's broken and the people see a need for change and I've said it many times if you want to hear a different song sometimes you got to change radio station. If passed in the next election two years from now the people of Pike County will vote for three commissioners instead of six magistrates and even though the districts they will represent will be double the size Blankenship says he still believes more will be accomplished. With the magistrates they were never intended to be full-time. It was always intended as a part-time position. Well, they're, they're receiving full-time pay and full-time benefits. A commissioner form of the government is definitely designed to be a full-time job. It's going to have more responsibilities. It's going to have, like I said, more accountability. Blankenship and his group say they believe the current Pike County administration could have done more to save money when it was evident coal severance tax money was on the decline. They still have their vehicles, which is taxpayer funded. I mean, all these, these luxuries, internet, phone, power, is all funded by the taxpayers of this county. And these are things that even other counties with magistrates don't even have. Senior citizen services, they are running now, but they were interrupted. That was a promise that was broken. And people are paying more taxes now and not getting any more service. Blankenship and other members of the Pike Countyans Against Government Waste group have spent countless hours leading up to the election to make sure people across the county have heard their message. As many people as I can talk to, I'm going to try to talk to. I've got people all over the county going out door to door. It's time that we make Pike County great again. In part two of our coverage of Pike County's potential change in its form of government, We'll talk with someone who doesn't feel change is necessary. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.